very very hot here praise god in the kingdom hallelujah and i believe most everywhere all over europe is quite hot it's tragic events in portugal where 58 people have died in uncontrollable wildfires because of temperatures reaching up to 40 degrees so dry that the bushes just start burning what a like spontaneous combustion it's so dry um you know it's 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 horrible, and uh, what happened again here in the United Kingdom in London with the building on fire? It's 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 devastating for the families involved. In our hearts and our thoughts and our prayers, we will pray that somehow that these people that are affected will be blessed. Amen. They will be blessed, amen. and they will know God. Yes, amen. What a blessing of God. Amen. 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 What a wonderful day it is. Come on. Here in the United Kingdom, hallelujah, I believe it's over the world. It's Father's Day. Father's Day. Father's Day. Father's Day. Father's Day. We are truly Clement Oso of Clement Oso Live. Every Sunday we you know, broadcast our video where we teach people coach, teach and inspire people to live life in full enthusiasm. Every Sunday from 12.30 uh, live on Facebook live and on Live Me. What a blessing of God. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram Google Plus and subscribe on YouTube and you can follow us also obviously on Live Me as well. What a blessing of Almighty God. Today is a great day. Amen. Hallelujah. We've received lots of gifts and um, we have not opened yet so I'm going to show the, all my gifts. There's quite a few of them, so my cards, you know, Josh and Elsie and my wonderful, beautiful wife of uh, maid as Father's Day uh, thingy, and then the cards, uh, which I'm, not, I'm going to open after we finish this, I'm saving it for later. <laughs> mm -hmm. And the gifts as well. <laughs> nice, lovely gift. I wonder what this is, praise God. And um, that one as well, gifts from Joshua and Elsie. I don't know, you know, yeah. 
and also, ooh, we've got lots of them coming as well. I've got lots of gifts, praise <laughs> God. Yay. Lots of ooh. gifts. It's a blessing of God. Thank you so much, Joshua and Elsie. I'm a wonderful wife. Yay. I'm going to enjoy them as I open them up. I'm the father. Yay. Yay. <laughs> praise God. Amen. The blessing of God. Amen. 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 Let's put this down. Praise God. Okay. What a blessed day it is today. We're going to be talking about fathers, obviously. It's Father's Day. So we're talking about this morning is fatherhood for Father's Day special. Praise God. Right. It is beautiful that God, praise God, is referred to as our Father. Yes. Amen. He's referred to as our Father. We do not preach or talk about religion. No, we, we, we hate religion, by the way. We don't like religion. Religion is out. Because God is not religion. Mm. Jesus is not religion. Mm. Jesus died for every Tom, Dick, and every Harry. Mm. Every marriage. He just died for every person. Yes. He died for us all. And he loves us all. Yes. Beautifully. No matter where we come from. No matter what we do. No matter our second situation in life. Jesus loves us. God loves us. That's why Jesus came to die for us. Mm. So it's not religion. It's not religion. You remember in the Garden of Eden, thousands of thousands, you know, years ago, God said uh, to Adam, Adam, name him. So God gave a command. God gave him authority mm-hmm. to name. Mm-hmm. The Bible beautifully and clearly says something very powerful and very beautiful, which we are very quick to make it out of religion. He says, when you come to God, you believe that He is. Mm-hmm. And I said, the word of them that didn't work, seek Him. Mm-hmm. It also says, when you pray, believe that you receive, mm-hmm. and it will be yours. Amen. When you pray, you pray according to the will of God. Now, the will of God simply means the word of God, God's intention, God's desire. Mm-hmm. Is, God, is it God's intention for you to be sick? Mm-hmm. No. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, you'll be a bad father. Mm-hmm. That's why. Therefore, his will is not for you to be sick. Mm-hmm. So, therefore, when you pray, then you're praying that you shouldn't be sick. Mm-hmm. Praying means talking. Mm-hmm. Praying doesn't mean kneeling down. Praying doesn't mean closing your eyes. Praying doesn't mean facing any direction. Praying doesn't mean putting your hands together. Praying doesn't mean raising your rosary. Praying means talking to God. Mm-hmm. Prayer has become religious, re, re, religionized. <laughs> Don't look at the word. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then when we say prayer, it becomes like a religion. Almost to the point whereby if you want to say God, religion comes to the mind. Every Tom, Dick, and Harry's mind. God is not a religion. Yeah, I know. When you say God, religion comes to Muslim's mind. When you say Jesus, Christian religion comes to Muslim's mind. But no. That is, that is the death, the destruction, and the trash that has come from religion. By equating God with religion. God and religion. God gave command to Adam and said, Adam, name all these. There's nowhere in the Bible that Adam said to God, God, should we name this lion? Should we name a tiger? Adam, the Bible says, Adam named it and it was so. Hmm. Today we have people praying and crying out to God for different things. We have people praying and wailing and crying out to God. Fasting and praying and doing this and doing this for God to bless them. That is trash religion that has been happening for years and years and today is become the norm. Today is become the norm in Christianity. Today is become the norm when you mention God or church or Jesus. Ah, it's not. That is trash. Because that's not God's original intention. Because the Bible says, when ye pray, hmm, you believe that you receive that which you ask for according to his original intention. God's will is his original intention. So when you pray, believe that you receive according to God's original. So God's original intention was for you to name and speak something and experience it. So you're not supposed to pray for a job. You're supposed to speak the job. Amen. I know. Amen. You're not supposed to pray for any blessing. You're supposed to speak that blessing. Yes. Let's rewind back, praise God, to the old covenant before trust is happening. This Esau, Jacob, yeah. Amen. Amen. 
I know he says Jacob and Esau, but I said Esau and Jacob. <laughs> if you read the Bible, if you say Esau and Jacob to the to the, to the Jewish people, <gasps> Jacob and Esau. No, it's Esau and Jacob. Esau was the firstborn. <laughs> I know Jacob got the blessing, but Esau also got the blessing. <laughs> Let's take that out. <laughs> Esau the firstborn and Jacob, <laughs> praise God. A little with the father, Isaac is the father. The Bible says they went to their father and their father spoke. That's what the Bible says. The Bible says their father prayed it. The Bible says their father spoke it. Amen. He spoke blessing upon them. Today, we pray God's blessing. We fast God's blessing. No. Fatherhood is a beautiful, a beauty beyond the direction of enablement and essentiality of family. I'll say it again. Fatherhood, a beauty beyond the direction of enablement and essentiality of family. God is our ultimate father. We know that. Correct. So therefore, a success of fatherhood is only seen in the ideology of those he leads. Want to write it down? I'll say it again. The success of a father is only seen and evident in the ideology of those he leads. Amen. Amen. A father, like God is a father, he gave his word to Adam. I said, Adam, name. Adam never prayed. He never seeked God's face for three weeks. He never went to a camp. He never went up the mountain. He never fasted. He just spoke with his yeah. mouth. Look. He spoke with his mouth, honey. You got to speak. That is yeah. that that is the that, that is the essence of family. Speaking the ideology of the father. Adam called it a leopard, and, it, and that was its name. If you are truly, remember what the Bible says, Jesus says something very beautifully. He said, yeah. if you don't believe the Son, you won't believe the Father. Mm -hmm. Yes. If you do not believe the Son, you won't believe the Father. No, no, it's just, it's just saying, yeah, I know. You, you, you cannot believe God if you don't believe in yourself. Mm -hmm. Because the Bible said we are like Jesus. Yes. So if you, to believe Jesus means to believe in yourself. If you can't believe in yourself, then it means you don't believe in God. Mm. Yeah. And I don't believe in himself and he named. He spoke, he commanded, he directed. He believed in himself until sin came. This is not about religion. Religion says you have to do this to get this. You have to fast and pray to get this. You have to go to church 12 times a day to get No. Mm -mm. That's trash and that's religious garbage. Mm. God wants to come out of that. Amen. Come out of that. Mm. Because that's the essentiality of family. The essentiality of what? Family is to have the ideology of the father. Mm. It's only that that will bring success Amen. when you work in the ideology of the father. That's the principle of fatherhood. Mm. Isaac blessed his children. Just, uh, Jacob and Esau. Guess what? They were blessed. Mm. He spoke it. He did pray. Let's pray to God for his blessing now. Come on, children. Let's kneel down. Let's pray. Let's fast. Let's go to church on Sunday for three, four, uh, five hours. <laughs> now, he didn't. Yeah. It is an ideology that we get. That's our religion. Religion is causing problems every left, right, and center. Take a look. <laughs> God doesn't, want, I say it, man. God doesn't want you in any religion. No. God doesn't want you in religion. He wants you to know him. Just fellowship with him. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy your family. If you're a father, lead your family. Direct your, fa your family. Give them the ideology of life. As the Bible says, which is the word of God, which contains the word of God. It says what? I set before you life and death. This is good. This is bad. But let me give you an advice. Take that one. Amen. That's what a father does. A father directs his children, directs his family, and says, this is bad. This is good. But 
take this good. Amen. And then they take it. When they have ideology and they get blessed by it. Hallelujah. Amen. Get blessed by it. So fatherhood is a beauty beyond. Beyond religion. Look. Abba Father. God is our Father. We always say that. <laughs> yeah, God is our Father. God is our Father. Fine. Beautiful. In religion, you have to appease. You have to sacrifice. Oh, no, hang on. The, look, the, the word sacrifice, praise God, is a religious term. It's not a godly term, by the way. Good. Oh, say what? I'll say it again. Sacrifice is a religious term. You know why? Let me explain this. The Bible says that without the shedding of blood, there can never be the remission of sin. Correct? Sorry. Correct. Why? I'll tell you why. Because when Adam and Eve did wrong in the Garden of Eden, what did they do? They clothed themselves with fig leaves. They sacrificed. Mm. And God said, oh, okay, you want to sacrifice. Let me show you the better and the pure way of sacrifice. By shedding the blood that's pure. Mm. So God took the hides of animal skin from the Garden of Eden that was pure mm. and clothed them. Hmm. Sacrifice is a religious thing that we men created, not God. God never created sacrifice. God never created us to live our life as a sacrifice, a living sacrifice. Because you pray to God to get something to sacrifice. You sacrifice something. You sacrifice your food. You sacrifice something. You fast. You sacrifice, you sacrifice that. Do you know why Jesus said a statement when they couldn't cast out a demon from the boy? Because it's going to get good. I know, you've had prisoners of all about it. I've had prisoners as well. Do you know what you know, he, he made a statement? Just said, this commit not except by prayer and fasting. Correct. <laughs> because that's what they believed. Mm. That's what they believed. When Jesus cast out a demon, did he pray and fast? No. <laughs> Think about it. If Jesus said, this commit not except by prayer and fasting, then it means just have to do it. Mm. But he didn't do it. <laughs> he did it. So therefore, it's possible to come out without. Yes. Amen. Amen. So, hang on. See, sometimes we become so religious that we forget the principles of God. The principles of God is communication, mm. speaking. That's all. That's your power. Your power is a word. God's when did you see God saying, "Okay, um, let's create the world." He got a brick put in stone. I'm not breaking a stone till the world became big. Now, oh, he spoke it. He spoke it. Amen. <laughs> oh, let's go to the tree. <clears throat> they put the wood together. All the fibers of the tree. Wood. Mm -hmm. Put leaves. Ah, no. He spoke it. He spoke it. Amen. Your power is in your words. Amen. Oh. Amen. Amen. If mm. you speak negativity, that's what you're going to experience. That's what you're going to feel like. When you mm. feel like it, then you can't be positive. If you got positive, you can't act positive. If you don't act positive, then you'll be blessed. You're right. Your power is in your speaking, your word. Mm. Speak it. Sacrifice. Mm. Fatherhood, a beauty beyond. The direction of enablement. So the beauty beyond is beyond religion. There's nothing to do with religion. God has nothing to do with religion. Being a father has nothing to do with religion. He has everything to do with direction and leadership. And the beauty beyond fatherhood, the direction of enablement. Direction of what? Enablement. God said to Adam, Adam, name these. Whatever you name is that's what it's going to be. Adam did not have to get God's confirmation. Adam didn't have to say, okay, let's see if God speak. Adam didn't have to say, what does God want? No! Because he knew what God wants. God wants him to speak and name the animals. That's what God wanted. So for life, God wants you to live a life joyfully. Yes. God wants you to live a life and enjoy your life. How? By doing what you love doing, what you are called to do. Amen. So religion, 
Religion says you have to be this, you have to be that. You have to do this and you have to do that. Mm. So a beauty beyond the direction of enablement and essentiality of family. The essence. 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 You come and say, oh, Hello, boy! The chicken and the egg, which comes first? Good. Elsie? The chicken or the egg, which one comes first? The chicken. The chicken comes first. Mm. <laughs> 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 Why? Why chicken come first? Because without a chicken, you cannot have an egg. Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Mm. So, comes the question. That's why God, when he created, he created the father, man, first. Mm. For the man, first. Because it's out of man's side. He took the weave to create the woman. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. The essentiality of mm. family. So fathers are essentially needed. Mm. Essentially vital. Amen. In family life. Mm. In raising of children. In directing. In protection. In blessing. In empowerment. In a figurehead. In fathers in discipline. Amen. Fathers. What a blessing that God has given that authority wow. in fatherhood. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. What a blessing of God. Amen. Nothing to do with religion, but everything to do with reality, with fatherhood. Hallelujah. Amen. The, success, if I say that, the success of a father is cocooned in the ideology of those under his leadership. So again, the success of a father is cocooned in the ideology of those under his leadership. John 5, 26 says, For as the father has life in himself, so he has granted the son also to have life Amen. in himself. Mm. That's a powerful word. Mm. I've read that verse, but when I read it, as again, I said, oh, sorry, sorry. Mm. Let me read that verse again, slowly. Think about it. Mm. So John chapter 5, verse 26. Mm -hmm. As the father has life that is in the same plane, in the same level, on the same comparison mm. that God has life on the inside of himself. So he has granted, mm. so he has given the visa, he has given the authority, mm. he has given the, the, the enablement. He has granted the son also, also means in the same way, the same level, the same plane, like the same, like as he has it. He has granted the son also in the same way to have life in himself. So we have the same life that Amen. God has. You have the same life that God has. So therefore you can speak the same words that God will speak. Amen. When we see God that way, it changes from religion. That's how God is a religion. It changes. God wants you bold, strong, and enjoying Amen. your life. Who Amen. you are and yes. how you are. Come on. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Today we have misplaced excuses. People will give excuses of this and that. If fathers will maintain their place. Mm -hmm. Of authority, maintain their place of direction, maintain their place mm. of leadership, then this world will be a better place. Amen. Then we will have no need for religion. Mm. The same principle that existed years and years ago, where in each family, the leader, in the Jewish culture, the, the father teaches and empowers his family, his wife and children, with the Torah. With the Jewish book of the Torah. He empowers them. He teaches them. He grows them. He builds them. He trains them. Mm. Not to be looking for God. Mm. Do you know why the Jews are very successful? There's a statement 
that the Bible talks about. Mm. It says, the Jews, they are still what? Waiting for? The Messiah. Waiting for the Messiah. Mm. What are they doing? They are doing what they're supposed to do because you just said, mm. occupy till I come. Yeah. They're not looking for him. Christian religion is looking for. Mm. If you look for something that's there, you will miss it and then you will be blessed by it. Mm. <laughs> but Jews are not looking for God. Mm. They're just waiting and doing on this earth, occupying, multiplying. So literally, they are doing the will of God. Mm. That's why they're prospering the businesses. Mm. But a Christian, yeah. they will run to church every three, four, five days a week. They stay for their 10 days, 10 hours. Instead of enjoying the family. Mm -hmm. And then five, 10 years, the son goes into a uh, joins a gang. If just children are not good in school. In London, they stay out till 12 midnight because their parents are in church till... <laughs> Make no sense. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. No. That's religion. God wants a father Amen. to take care of his children, to direct Amen. his family, to protect his family. Fatherhood. Hallelujah. Amen. God is our heavenly father. And he loves and cares for us. So those of us who are fathers, let us also walk in that power, in that love, in that discipline, in that joy, in that direction, in that enablement, in that ideology, in that leadership, to direct, to lead, to protect, to bless our family. That is being a father. That is what being a father. Being a father is taking a decision and standing by that decision. Hallelujah. Praise God. What a blessing of God. I want to give the opportunity to Jesus right now. You don't know him. He's a father. He's he's a, he's, a, he's not he's not he's not a religious god. No, he's a father. You have the same life he's got. Hmm. So you're not under any religion, but you shouldn't be. He loves and cares for you. Do you want to come to him? Yes. Why not? Why not? He loves and cares for you. I want to come to him. Praise God. Hallelujah. Will you pray with me? Yeah, pray means talking. Will you talk with me? <laughs> yeah, why not? So I say, Lord Jesus, you're not joining any religion. You're not joining any church. You're just coming to him. You're coming to God. You're just talking with him right now. Yeah. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for me. I receive into my life as my Lord and Savior. Yeah. I am blessed. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. A prayer. prayer. Simple, isn't it? Yeah. You're what the Bible calls born again. But that just... Simply means there's Bible terms and religious terms and blah, blah, blah that's coming, you know. Uh, and unfortunately, it can confuse people. But it just simply means that you are now known as a child of God. You're not yes. seen as God's child. Mm. And then you just, you enjoy your life as you know his heart and know his will. Mm. Amen. God Amen. bless you, bless you, bless you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for doing that. Hey! This is going to be a beautiful day for you and a wonderful week ahead. Amen. Just talk to him. It's called prayer. Study his word in the Bible, online, in the physical Bible, wherever. And then fellowship with one or two or 10,000 people. It's called church. It doesn't have to be in the building. It doesn't have to be 10,000. It can be one or two. It doesn't have to be every day. It could be every two days. It doesn't have to be every week. It could be every two or three weeks. As you can. But fellowship. And you'll be blessed. God bless you. Thank you for watching. Thanks for listening. Hey! Loves you and cares for you. Happy, wonderful, blessed Father's Day. Everyone Yay! out there with a father. If you have a father, you know fathers. Wish them happy birthday. Um, happy Father's Day. Amen. And come on, just bless them. Amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful, beautiful Sunday and a blessed week ahead. God bless you. I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Every Sunday, join us next Sunday, 12.30. Follow us on Facebook, on Twitter, on uh, Instagram. Google Plus, follow us on YouTube as well, subscribe, and obviously live me. Uh, thank you so much for that. God bless you. I'll see you soon. You take care. Bye for now. Close your eyes. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. Let's go switch this off. Amen.
man. Yeah. Yeah.